What's good, everybody? This is Preston, lifelong adventurer and travel YouTuber. And I'm Ryan, the travel photographer, here to capture moments worth saving. And this is Adventures with Pictures podcast, bringing all those travel tips, horror stories, and just all around travel experiences. This is your podcast to soften those travel blues every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Now let's get started and hear from my guest today. All right, all right. Hey, 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 what's going on, folks? I know it's been a while, but we're back. This is Ryan from Adventures with Pictures. Um, Press is a, is a busy man, traveling from this and the third, so he's going to try to join on later. But in the meantime, we got one of our stand-up guys, uh, Thoreau Alexander, and we got the, uh, you got the homeboy, uh, got the homeboy Marcus, a.k.a. Marathon Marcus. Uh, both great dudes. Um, ran into both of them on Instagram Lives, and we've just been clicking with chemistry ever since. Um, so once again, um, just to get, you know, once again, being we start with the podcast, Thorough, can you introduce yourself and let people know where they can find you or just what you're all about? Yeah, man. Well, it's your boy, Thorough Alexander, you know, a.k.a. the Grand Architect. I'm on Instagram, uh, Thorough, T-H-U-R-R-O underscore Alexander. And you can also find me on YouTube, uh, search the same thing, Thorough Alexander, and my page should pop up immediately, man. All right. And as you can see, uh, if you're looking at us on YouTube, you can see we're all, you know, pretty much might as well call us a hat gang. And um, I'm really feeling the hat my homeboy Marcus has right now. Marcus, it being your first time on our podcast, hey, just go ahead and introduce yourself, man. Yeah. So uh, I go by Marathon Marcus on Marathon Marcus 79 on Instagram. I like to throw in my uh, the year I was born. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I love traveling. Um, I met these guys. Uh, especially thorough man he was he's a great photographer so uh you know we, we've been going back and forth and uh i you know last year i went on a uh year-long rv trip with uh, my family and we went out west and so i the travel the travel bug you know is all in me and you know i this is what i like doing and um right now we're back in chicago <laughs> so we're doing a lot of weekend trips and stuff uh, yeah yeah mm -hmm. and uh you know just I have a different view of Chicago now that I went on a, on the road and everything and how to like really, you know, explore here. So. Gotcha. Well, first of all, I, I never knew that about you, about the uh, RV trip. I would love if you would, if you cool and you like the format, I would love to have you come back so we could pick yeah. your brain up about your, 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 yeah. your quest, your RV quest, man. But, but, but yeah. just, just like a teaser, man, like what inspired you to do the RV thing in the first place? So, uh, it was always been actually RV was like the one of the things we wanted to do. But originally what we wanted to do was in like uh, 2018, 2019, all these uh, travel family vlogs were coming up and they had this uh, movement called World School. And so I got a you know, I got two youngins mm -hmm. and we were like, man, this would be a great way to like, you know, educate them by going on a like traveling around the world and, you know, uh, seeing things and learning about, you know, uh, different cultures and stuff. And they also mm -hmm. call it the unschooling movement. So you're basically mm -hmm. taking your kid out, you're homeschooling them. But then COVID hit. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of had to slow that down. And um, we're like, well, what we can do is we can just, you know, tr maybe rent an RV mm -hmm. and do some traveling like that way, you know, around our, you know, North America, the country mm -hmm. or whatever. And eventually, um, after looking at all those rental prices and how much it costs to do an RV, I'm like, man, we might as well buy one. <laughs> you know? So we ended up buying one. Yeah. And in July last year, we we uh, you know we took it out and we went on the road like cold turkey. Like we did a couple trips locally here. Uh, yeah. We just started heading west, and uh, our goal was to just to get to the you know the west coast, the you know uh, Seattle, mm -hmm. Washington, Oregon, California, and kind of hang out there, you know, and just you know. We we'll plan for like three months and then, mm -hmm. you know, go like break it off and just see what's next. So, and that's what we did, man. And the kids loved it and everything. Mm -hmm. um, we ended up staying in California for like five months. Um, Jeez, man. Yeah. That sounds, yeah. Right. Yo, that sounds yeah, we, dope. We explored that state. So, I mean, it was, it was cool. Jeez. So really, like, like, what really, mm -hmm. it's just like, we, we had planned on doing this on a bigger scale, like mm -hmm. worldwide. But you know, we ended up just doing it this way, and that's why why we had a, we did it the RV way. Well, you know, hopefully if things get you know normalized, maybe you could do it the big worldwide way. Yeah, you 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's a lot of work, man. Like I realized that, you know, especially, you know, my kids are kind of similar to me. They're a little bit stubborn, you know, when they're mm. kids, you know, doing the homeschooling and stuff. Mm. Uh, you know, I one of the reasons was like, man, can I do this for another year, you know, and not mess them up? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you know, there's, you know, there's, there's, there's the pros and cons of it, you know, and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, also too, like me and my wife, we, we have our own business and stuff like that. And so being, you know, stationed in one spot, it, it ends up working out better that way. So what okay. we plan on doing is hopefully uh, like in the summertime, going on some long trips, even if it's overseas mm-hmm. like for a couple of months or whatever, and just making it up and then they can go back to school. Uh, gotcha. You know, gotcha. Well, Okay, well, well, uh, I know this is a travel podcast, but you just bring up so many interesting talk points. Yeah. It, it leads me to like other questions. Well, first of all, I think it's very commendable that you're homeschooling your, your kids, especially yeah. you know when you hear like some of these you know institutions who are like so against teaching people, especially people of color, like their real history and things of that yeah. nature. Is, is that kind of what inspires you to like do the homeschooler thing a little bit? Yeah, um, we we felt like you know there's just so much that the school system leaves out, man. Like, you know, I, yes, bro. you know, it's, mm-hmm. it's first of all, especially during this pandemic, man, it's just a tough, you know, are we, are they going to be in person? Are they like all these different things you gotta, you know, factor mm-hmm. in. And so, um, yeah, the, you know, it's just so much more. And my wife, she was actually in the peace corps okay. so was overseas for a couple of years nice. in the Philippines. And so, she always saw like the, like to her, she was like, man, this is something I'm going to always do with my kids, you know, take mm-hmm. them overseas. And so that's, you know. Yeah, teach them hands on, teach them overseas. Right, right. And stuff and, like you that. know, the, uh, with the unschooling uh, yeah. movement, mm-hmm. the world school mm-hmm. movement, you just basically, I mean, you, like if I, if, you know, we're going through some mountains or something like that, mm-hmm. that's our lesson right there. You know, mm-hmm. I break it down what mountains they're going through, what are the different levels of the mountains, the peaks, the valleys, the, you know, Mm-hmm. And that's just how you educate them. Then they, they have more questions. They like, oh, look at that cloud over there. Mm-hmm. And then we're like, oh, let's study that cloud. And so you're mm-hmm. just going down this like right. this spiral, man. This 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 mm-hmm. and it's great, you know. And mm-hmm. your kid end up learning a lot more. Mm-hmm. You know, they have this stuff they wouldn't have gotten in Chicago. Majority <laughs> of the stuff they wouldn't have got in Chicago. So yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, I right, shoot. I, I yeah. think that's dope, man. I know uh yeah. You know, you shoot. I, uh, just a couple weekends ago, especially when you said like, you know, you know, are you gonna be in person in school and stuff yeah. like that? Like, you know, it was like a mixed emotions um, with like, you know, tears of joy and concern and yeah. happiness. But you know, we just sent, you know, my wife and I, we just sent our daughter to to uh, college. You know, freshman. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. yeah, she's going. She's going to uh, Morgan State. You know, uh, oh, HBCU. Cool. You know, so yeah, she's yeah, so she's yeah. enjoying the environment so far. This and the third, but. So yeah, so I, I felt you know comfortable for the fact that she's a, she at least on her own wanted to go to HBCU to try to you know learn maybe like some more about her history, not not what they was teaching her in some of the hate to sound controversial, well, you know, predominantly yeah. white schools when she was growing up, stuff like yeah, that. She you know? definitely get it, man. She yeah, definitely get it for sure, for sure. Well, I, like I said, I, I know I know we was off with a tangent with that, but once again, yeah. we have interesting guests. You got to pick their brain. But um, one of the things uh, that. Yeah. Yeah, but one of the things, just uh, like an icebreaker question, just to get some more of the listeners uh, more familiar with you guys, um, you know, since we're all travel enthusiasts and we all may have our different reasons, but what what's the uh, what was your main or your personal reasons for wanting to travel? Um, and if you, you okay, know, if, so, if, if you, yeah, go ahead. So for me, you know, I'm going to be honest, man. Um, I've kind of always like, getting outside the box and you know being cooped up in miami Mm -hmm. for you know 15 years and finally getting out it really opened up my eyes when i when i first moved to texas you know i was kind of like man you know texas is so much different scenery and then just just the whole drive because i i literally i drove from florida all the way to texas so that whole ride really opened up my my eyes and the actual traveling traveling like the stuff that you see me do now and on my instagram page i'm gonna be honest man like Mm -hmm. the pandemic you know it all stems back to the pandemic man um the pandemic is what really forced me to to get outside that box 
okay. even more. And I remember the day it happened, bro. It's like I was I was literally supposed to go to work. My boss called in. He called everybody. He said, we're not going to work today for about two weeks. And I was kind of like, damn, man, I'm going to be missing a lot of money. So my wife was like, why don't we just take a trip? So our first trip was literally to Colorado. Mm-hmm. And we went to the Garden of the Gods. Ooh. And I was just, yeah, man, the Garden <laughs> of the Gods, that's where we went. Mm-hmm. And it just blew my mind with all the rock formations and all that stuff. And we did a few hikes. But little did I know that I was hiking. I didn't even know what hiking was, mm-hmm. you know, if I'm totally honest. So that's what really started the whole travel bug for me and my wife and it's like ever since that moment i just been trying to get more of it man it's it's like a high that i just keep chasing you know <laughs> and I, I i love it man okay all right well what about you uh Marcus? What, what personally inspired you to just travel bro so mine started early like when i was i remember being in seventh grade mm-hmm. and i had uh social studies you know study of people places and things mm-hmm. and i had this teacher man this dude smoked like 80 pack of cigarettes he had like this deep voice and he would have us like watch these uh these um these videos on like different places around the world and then he had like these his own pictures like they were like on these little slides i don't know if y'all remember that this was like late 80s they were like little slides that you put into like this machine and it you know you can view pictures you hit the button yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i was that dude like i like whenever he'd be like hey who want to do this i'd be like yeah. you know, hey. <laughs> but he would just be all like he this guy traveled from like Africa to Europe and you know you know you would see mountains you would see ocean you would see all types of things that you don't see like in the Chicagoland area don't get me wrong Chicago got lake you know lake lake, lake Michigan and then they also have you know skyscrapers and stuff like that but this mm-hmm. was just different and then he always had like this uh I don't know, fling or bay or whatever he was with. <laughs> I'm just like, I want to be this dude. Right, I can right. hold it, man, and just travel. Uh, you know, and it was, it was, it was cool because it was just like he just showed us something that we didn't see, and the fact that he was doing it too, because you know how school is, they just show you just to tell you, no, he was living it and doing it, doing his Word. summers off or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And then also my my family too, like my my old man was like, you know, he'd take us on these long road trips to like New Orleans, and we would go up to Toronto. And so that always kind of stayed with me. And uh, eventually I got had got a job, you know, where I was like traveling Midwest and mm-hmm. going to different spots. And, you know, even my wife, you know, we just, we just, we roll. When we up, we up, you know, 14 days, 21 days. Jeez. That's, yeah. So that's Jeez. what, that's what it started from, like at an early age. Mm-hmm. So let me get, you said 14 days, 21, 21 days or whatnot, like, like just straight just. We're going road trips. So. Okay. 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 One time, like, uh, Thero, you mentioned like the garden of guys, we, we made a trip from Chicago yeah. to, uh, Denver. Mm-hmm. And then I know the, uh, Colorado Springs is where the garden of the gods is. And we, yep. we went, yeah. And then we went all the way back. We went down to Louisville. We circled mm-hmm. back. And I think that was like 14, 20 days. And we had our, Jeez. this, this was with our first child. So that was like the first time we actually did, you know, did something like that. Then right. we made a trip down to Disney World once. I mean, that was cool. That was like nice. an 18 to 21 hour drive or whatever, but we stopped on the way there. Ooh. They, you know, I think we stayed there for like a week and then made our way back. We met some friends in Savannah. Okay. We went to Louisville. And so like, that's just mm-hmm. what we, that's, that's in us. And so. Okay, I'm so, so, so it, yeah, yeah. I'm about yeah. to say, yeah, you got some road miles on you, bro. I like, yeah, that. yeah. You know, <laughs> domestic traveling, man. You know, the the U.S. is beautiful. Like, mm-hmm. you know, everybody talk about Europe and you know, U.S. and you know, it, people sleeping on this. This country. yeah, you know, hey, you know, this is this is one of the thorough. I don't know if you heard some of our old episodes, but this is this guy. Marcus gets me, man. Pause. Like yeah. I'm just, I'm the same way. I'm like, yo, I, I, I like Preston. He's more yep. of the, he's more of the international guy. Me, I'm more, I'm more of the, hey, I'm gonna just keep it domestic. Like, like yeah. one of my favorite places to go is San Antonio, but you know, you don't hear people talk about San Antonio that much. They, they be sleeping yeah. on it, but that's one of my favorite spots to, to go travel. So, I, I like that we here with. I, I like, <laughs> yeah, you know, the country is beautiful if you take time to just yeah. venture out. What's in your own, 
you know, backyard as a as a country, if you will. So yeah. so so what I got. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So what I what I gather from you both, like you both just are just, you know, just for one reason or another, just got inspired to like explore, basically. I would imagine, yeah. you know, and, um, yep. you know, well, that part, you know, I might be a little different, you know, uh, I know for me, I'm gonna be straight up. Like the reason why I travel, I just love to just relax. Like I'm, I'm sure you heard some of the back and forth me and Preston have sometimes. Look, I, I work hard. I like to just, you know, vacation hard, if you will. So when I go, you know, so I guess you mm, I wouldn't yeah. say, I wouldn't necessarily even call me a traveler. When I go on vacation, I'm being lazy as hell. Like don't, you know, don't hit me with the 8 a.m. I t- don't hit me with the 8 a.m. itinerary talking about let's hit this on the third. I might not wake up to about 9 30, 10 o'clock, you know, before I, I start rolling. You hit and that snooze button. I'm hitting right. snooze. I mean, I ain't gonna front. Like, I think, you know, I know everybody got their own backstory, like they're a superhero and stuff, but I think my backstory kind of came from um my my just my, my my parents and my um extended family. We we will all go to Myrtle Beach every summer. My my grandparents had some uh, time trial out there. We go there for like maybe like a week and a half, um, a week, a week and a half, and everybody would just be kicking it. Everybody just on their own, on their own time. Nobody is rushing for for a damn thing. Everybody is do what you do. I got cousins around my age, so all we would do is, you know, roam around on the beach, maybe walk, uh, a mile, you know, a half mile down the road to like the arcades where arcades was big back then, and just that type of mindset when it comes to travel has been with me ever since. Like I love seeing new cities. Just, just as Marcus says, I love seeing new cities within our, you know, our country. But I'm, I'm not here to like yeah. be the first up and up and about to see this, that, and the third landmark at whatever city I'm in. I'll see it when I get there. I'm just gonna wake up on my own time and do it on my own pace. That's that's all it is. So, so all y'all, you know, so both of y'all sound like y'all some, you know, aspiring explorers. I ain't gonna front. I just like just to be lazy when I travel. Don't, hey don't, man, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool, <laughs> and that's okay. Thank you. <laughs> right. The one, the one thing that's why I say, like, if you're gonna do, uh, you know, mm-hmm. if you're gonna travel, try to see if you can do a week to two week thing because you could do a, you know, mixture of both. <laughs> you know, you have your lazy days, and then you can have your days when you you out, you know, and yeah, going. Yeah. But I, I know, like, yeah. I I'm a morning person in general. I get up mm-hmm. at four or five, you know. Oh, are you, yeah. Are you, I like you, I like to catch I like to catch the sunset. I mean, the sunrise, and so oh man, you know, if I can, yeah, that. So I'm up. Anyways, yeah. So like, so it, 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 I was drinking the night before. Then that's a whole nother. <laughs> <laughs> then it's six o'clock. Uh, okay, I got yeah. you. But that, so yeah. it's just, that's just like your body clock. You waking up somewhere between four and six. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. That's true. That be, nah. That's those sound like some. That hurt my soul when you said four. <laughs> I was like, geez, bro. Like, I was like, are you are you going? Are you like jogging in that early? Or you just waking up. Just Sometimes I'm, I'm, you know, I'm working out. Um, you know, mm-hmm. I, I do this thing called a miracle morning, and so it's like a morning mm-hmm. routine that I do. Okay. Help, you know, it helps start your day off, oh. mm-hmm. and uh, you know, that way you can, like, I like tr- I trade in the morning too, so I day mm-hmm. trade in the morning. Okay. And I, like oh, all of it. So by eight nine o'clock, mm-hmm. man, I, I feel like I won the day. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I, I got to get better at that. Like me, I know my schedule. I, I wake up like just naturally, no alarm. I wake up about seven, seven thirty. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I, I mean, if it, it was not too hot outside, I, I may jog a mile or two, or maybe hit like a, a beach body routine. But yeah. I, you know, that that, that four o'clock just that, that that just ain't in me, fam. I'm sorry, I can't. But I, I tell you this though, when I was mm-hmm. on the West Coast, yeah, mm-hmm. I couldn't. That was just way too early. Like <laughs> that. That that became six o'clock, seven o'clock morning. So, okay. yeah. All right. Well, let me ask you this. I know you said like sometimes, like if you have like a two week span, sometimes you can have your days where you're hitting um, landmarks, and some days when you're just whatever. Yeah. So, like, is, is that one? Some is that kind of like routine? Like you kind of bounce back and forth with when you're on your, uh, you know, your 14 to 21 day, you know, road trip expeditions. Like some days, y'all just gonna chill, and some days it's like we gotta hit this on the third. Yeah. Um, so with a family is, you know, it's, there's so many factors with it. Mm-hmm. Sometimes my kids wake up early when I wake up and they, I'm like, man, I'm like, man, I'm hoping, why, why are you up? You know, but then, you know, so that, that can, that can change some things, but usually um, my, like my wife, she, she, like if she's up, you know, we'll have some coffee or whatever, we'll talk, you know, and, 
mm-hmm. kind of go through, talk about the day of you know what we're gonna do. And we'll you will say right there, like, man, we tired. Let's just let's just chill. Mm-hmm. Let's uh, you know, uh, we'll do this mm-hmm. on this date or whatever. Right. We just right. do it that way. And we okay. the one thing being on the road for a year, we stopped rushing because the first mm-hmm. couple months, man, mm-hmm. we were just going, you know, and that just wore us out. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. We just, yeah. We know you how to just kill them. Okay, you just be smooth, just cruising. I mean, no, let me ask you all this because yeah. I'm I, I know at least you know I know thorough. You, you be getting your content in. I be seeing your page and stuff like that. You know, when, when it comes to adventure with pictures, we try to do our best with the content as well. But uh, right. you know, but 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 so Marcus, so like, like this is just a question. Well, actually, both of y'all can answer this. Do y'all feel like in this? And once again, I know I'm kind of going off script, so I apologize. Do y'all feel like, you know, in this day and age of like when social media is king, for lack of a better term, do y'all feel like sometimes y'all miss out on just sitting back and just soaking in whatever beauty you guys are coming across when you're traveling? Or do you feel like you still are able to just admire the moment and just forget about your phone? Forget about, oh, my goodness, my my thousands of followers need to see what I'm looking at right now. Do you, you know, how do y'all go? How do y'all balance that? I guess is my question. You know. Honestly, man, I'm, I'm gonna be real. It's like, see, when I when I go hiking and I go traveling, bro, mm-hmm. I'm doing this for me, man. You know, that's 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 first and foremost, man. Like, I'm doing this for me. So, and that's that's the main reason why when it, whenever I'm out hiking or traveling, mm-hmm. I take so many pictures for me. Whereas, let's say there's a hike that normally takes an hour. It's going to take me three hours because I'm always stopping mm-hmm. to, to just take all this stuff in. And yeah, I'm going to get my pictures, but for me, me taking these pictures, all that's doing is allowing somebody else to see my experiences. It's like, it gives me an opportunity to, to, to hopefully share what I'm feeling mm-hmm. with somebody else. You get what I'm saying? So that's that's what I definitely try to do. I use it as as a base for for what I really want to do, man. Because I feel like the minute you honestly start getting caught up in the whole social media thing, which I'll be honest, I have been guilty of that before mm-hmm. in the past. And then it's like, nah, you're just going to this place because you're trying to take pictures. Now you're not enjoying it. You're rushing the whole experience. And it's like, yeah, you went to this cool place, but you ain't really enjoy it. You get what I'm saying? So I, I, I tend not to do that, man. Okay. Right. How about how about you, uh, Marcus? Do you find yourself staying away from the phone so you can just enjoy that moment with your family? Or do you fall or do you find yourself guilty of, damn, my phone's gotta see this too? Like, like where you at with that? Oh, you on mute. You on mute. There you go. My bad. My bad. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a mixture. You know, mm-hmm. I try to uh, be mindful. You know, especially when my kids are there. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, I, you know, I can be selfish sometimes. Where it's like, <laughs> let me get this shot. And mm-hmm. I, I think that's the way I look at things. Like I'm, you know, I look at things. Man, that's a good shot right there. Let me let me do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wherever I go though, I just try, try to stay. I stay there like four to six hours. You know, I'm 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 committed to the whole day. Mm-hmm. So I. You know, I have times like I like to meditate and stuff. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do a mixture of everything. And and so that, you know, I'm not, you know, being selfish and also being present with my family. Right. But um, one, of, one of the things, you know, and it's just, you know, I, I talk to my wife like, hey, I'm going to get up early this morning. I'm going to go on this hike, you know, and sometimes the hike is just for me to like slow down and, you know, uh, you know, just yeah. keep cool. Mm-hmm. Then sometimes it's like, man, I want to go see this waterfall. <laughs> and then I can, when I, when I, once I get my shots, then I can spend the next 30, 40 minutes just trying to, you know, yeah. chilling. Right. Right. I, I think I, I think those are good answers. I agree with you both. I think I try, I try my best just to live in the moment as well. And one of the things that, like I said, maybe this is like, like maybe two weeks old now or, or just really brand spanking new. But now that my wife and I are, all, are empty nesters, we try to get out more often and just live in that moment of, you know, not maybe not doing the whole state to state traveling as much because of, you know, the pandemic and stuff like that. But, you know, like if we go like, if you go like a, a hike to like a local park or maybe, 
you know, do like a, a peaceful walk at like a lake or the beach or something like that. I, I find myself trying my best to be more in the moment instead of being like, oh, you know what? This would be a good reel for for the Adventures with Pictures you know, podcast right. page or something like that. Right. So, and, and also, I, I must say, I've learned the hard way that I've, I've gotten in trouble of just not living in a moment where I could see my wife is annoyed. I'm like, all right, I gotta, I gotta relax. You know, so I know right. you got, you got to play that. Hey, but you, mm-hmm. you know, though, Ryan, I can't even lie. I think one thing all three of us have in common because all three of us like taking pictures. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's whenever, whenever all three of us go out, we just we just still see that shot, man. Like, <laughs> you, you can't help it. You get what I'm saying? So, I yeah. feel you, dog. Yeah, it's, it's like muscle memory. I remember, yeah. I remember being at Pismo Beach, man. Y'all mm-hmm. familiar with that? It's, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's, uh, I want to say it's like Central Cali Coast, but it's more on the southern end of the Central Coast. Okay. And I remember that they had these great sunsets. And like, my kids were just playing, but I could see the big sunset and then I could see, like the shadow see it coming together. I was just like, man, I gotta get this. <laughs> like, like and it's yeah. just that's, that's how I look at things. You know, I look at things from you know the uh the moments in yeah, you, know, like, you call it Kodak moments or whatever. Right, but right. I'll be the same way, <laughs> yeah, you know, you're right. Like, what 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 you know, <laughs> like no, nah, this is the right here. Yeah, you know, I think it's like muscle memory, it's almost like if if uh you know. You know, like if a, if a fighter is walking and, and he hears like a scuffle, he's he, he's already in defense mode. It's just right. something about muscle memory. So okay, I, yeah. I feel that. Um, so one of our main the reason the main one of the main reasons why I think you two are perfect guests for this question is actually one of the main things I want to ask you guys um, is like hypothetically speaking, right? In this fantasy world, I'm gonna present to you guys. You know, if money was not an issue, right? You could live anywhere in the world. Where will you and your family relocate to to live out? And here's the thing: you gotta live this, in this place for the rest of your life. You can't, you can't live here for like you know five years and then like you know what? I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm gonna move on. If you had, if money wasn't an issue and you had to live in a location for the rest of your days, where 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 is Thorough? Where are Thorough and Marcus moving to? Man, for me, I can't even lie. Um, it's gonna be New Mexico, and you probably like. Yeah, New Mexico, why you said that? But let me tell you, man, New Mexico has all the scenery, bro. Mm -hmm. Canyons, desert, mountains. In the wintertime, you you could go skiing. You get what I'm saying? Like, New Mexico has all the scenery. It's it's like a hiker's paradise, and and it's just this untapped gem that's just sitting there that a lot of people really don't know about that because they, they, they don't experience it a lot. They don't talk about it, you know? So for me, it's just New Mexico, man. All the, thing, the only thing I can say that New Mexico does not have, mm-hmm. I believe, because of its location would be a beach. But, yeah. I mean, if you could get over the whole beach thing, honestly, man, it's, it's, it's so much scenery to, to, to be had there, bro, mm-hmm. it, it would be New Mexico for me, man, most definitely. Okay, and that's the thing. I mean, I ain't gonna front. I mean, it, 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 maybe it sounds ignorant, but I feel like if you see one beach, you kind of see them all. So, I, you know, I think that's like a very small con against New Mexico. Well, what's going on with you, uh, Mark? What, what you got? I didn't know it was gonna be like, I gotta stay there the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know what? I, I freestyled it. <laughs> I freestyled it and I, I threw it in last minute. You know, yeah, I, you know I, what? This, this might sound crazy too, but I would <laughs> honestly, I would just stay in California, man. Like I would, I would just, I would be a resident. Hell of that yeah! Because California is, you know, just like New Mexico. You got some of like everything, every season. Um, I mean, you got beach, desert, ocean, the redwoods, Yosemite, parts of like Lake Tahoe, the Sierras, Joshua Tree. Channel Islands, like you can just spend a whole year just going in a circle of that. I, I just, you know, get mm-hmm. a like uh, the the coolest RV and just travel that that state up and down, mm-hmm. you know, um, just all the time. Okay, and just settle, you know, have have a home base in each part of the state. You know, I have something in Southern California, some like in Coachella area, like the. Uh, mm-hmm. Out, out, like west of, no, out east of uh, LA, 
-hmm. you know, um, yeah. I'll have something up north in like San Francisco Central, like uh, Monterey, that area. And I'll mm -hmm. just do that. You know, Damn. but if I if I I'll tell you this, if I mm -hmm. didn't have to stay there the rest of my life, right, I would put the motherland, like going back and forth. Okay. Been, but I, you know, it's just I, I have to, man. I, that's just like a whole nother experience that you know I would do like the 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 West countries, the Western mm -hmm. country, then maybe come back here for a year, then do the southern countries, come back here for a year and do it, do it like that. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I I, I like how you added it. Let's <laughs> remix it. Let's yeah. remix it. So yeah. Thorough, yeah. if you could go back and forth, we're gonna remix a little bit. You got New Mexico as your your your, your Man, mainstay. For me, for me, what's your alternative? Alternative. I can't even lie, bro. For me, because I see so many pictures of Scotland and in Ireland and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> for me, it's like I be going back and forth with the UK a whole lot, man. They they have a lot a lot of mountains. I think they call them Munros in Scotland. And they got a lot of mountain peaks over there. So, I mean, the, the UK is just a paradise for me. So I'd be going back and forth with the UK a lot. And it's, it's a few other European countries, believe it or not, like Croatia, Romania. Mm -hmm. I know they signed off the wall, man. And Spain, oh, my gosh. Spain <laughs> has some, some, some killer scenery on that hiking tip, man. So... I bet. Me, yeah, I, I would definitely, I, I, I would do the New Mexico, the America thing, and I would, I would definitely hit Europe on a back and forth too. Okay, well, damn. I mean, I like the like. Well, my first one, you know, if I could, you know, chime in for my two cents. Um, as I said earlier, you know, um, I feel like it's a beautiful city. It's under the radar, and especially if I don't have to stay in that city, but I could explore that entire state. For me, I think my my my, game, my main go to would have to be uh, have to be San Antonio, bro. San Antonio, Texas, and of course you got Beautiful. you know you know you can hit Austin, you can hit Dallas, you yeah. know um, all those other places. I could I could catch a Cowboys game out there in what um, I think it was Arlington, Texas, stuff like that. So I could bounce around. I, I could see I could see what the hype is about when it comes to the uh, the turkey leg hut. I mean, you gotta you know you gotta dress to the nines just to get sloppy with the turkey legs nowadays. I want to see what that life was like. You know what uh, I mean? So, yeah. You know, I want to see what that down south barbecue cooking is like, you know, all that type of stuff. And Oof. yeah, yeah. You know, another thing that I really like, because I mean, my wife and I, we're not foodies necessarily, but but when we do travel, right. we have to make a conscious um, effort to make sure that, that that certain places are like gluten, you know, gluten friendly or gluten free because my wife, she's aller allergic to gluten. So a lot of places that, okay. to my surprise, I love, there's a lot of you know, um, flexible places in terms of people who are allergic to gluten to eat in San Antonio. My wife was very impressed with the options they got there. So if if if, if San Antonio got that, I'm sure these other cities like your know, Austin, Texas, your, you know, your, your Dallas, I'm sure they got some nice, you know, restaurants that could be just as flexible for my wife. But and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Marcus. I might have to copy your answer. I think I have to go back and forth with the motherlands, too, man. I, I would love to see that whole. Just that whole vibe, you know, like things of that nature. I know Preston, he went to uh, Egypt and he loved it so much. That's one of his like top three spots. Uh, so I, I would just love to, you know, just visit. List. Yeah, that's a bucket list spot. I would love to see the all other type of um, locations within, um, you know, within Africa, just to see what that's like, man. Um, and, you know, once again, I, I do uh, thank you guys for, for taking the time out to really uh, rock with us. Um, I do want to kick off, you know, of like a little outro question um, that I love to ask uh, certain people who I vibe with. So I thought I'm going to ask you this question. So I apologize if this is a repeat question for you and then we'll get out of here. Um, you know, if, if, if you're like in a layover, matter of fact, no, nah, if you're like on a road trip with the wife, like what, what what's on your playlist? Cause I, I'm a big playlist guy. I love adding new artists that I may not have, may not have heard before. What's on what's on uh, Thoreau's playlist when he's out and about driving to his destination? So I can steal them and put it on my playlist. What's, what's up? That question kind of made me smile, man. I I can't even lie, dog. Like, you know, I listen to stuff that I ain't gonna say the average person probably wouldn't expect me to listen to at my age, because. I'm 34, man, but honestly, you ain't gonna believe this. Like on my road trips, 
You be on that Blink One Eighty Two. A lot of old school, bro. Okay. No, nah, no, nah, I, I, I ain't that far over. You just <laughs> un- <laughs> that, yeah, that's that, too far for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought you were gonna that, lie. That third, eye, that third eye blind. You know that that One Eighty Two. I ain't know. All hey, right. that's some good stuff. Nah, man. nah, it nah, is. Good. I, nah. Good. But for me, mm. is I listen to a lot of old school, man. I can't even front, bro. Like mm. I listen to hip hop. But that old school on the road, man, from the nineties and, and 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 from the eighties, that's what I listen to, man. Raw bass, you know what I'm saying? I, I got that playing. I got mm-hmm. Will Smith summertime. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I it's just that old school vibe, man. I can't explain it. It makes me feel good and it just keeps that vibe up in the car, man. And mm-hmm. and it's positive. Like, don't don't get me wrong. You know, I do listen to 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 a few cats in 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 the two thousands, man. But I can't explain it, man. Like that old school in that nineties era and before. That's what really speak to my soul. And I, I I could get gangster with it too with the music. But see, my gangster when it comes to the music is more of like a a Tupac, a Snoop Dogg, a Dr. Dre, like that. That old, that old good stuff. You get what I'm saying? That funk, I got you. that I make got you. dog, man. Like, <laughs> like that's that's, oh, that's where right. I'm at, man. <laughs> okay. Straight up. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. What, what about you, Marcus? Like, what, what's on your playlist so I could maybe add add to my collection, bro? So you you saying just me and the wife, no kids? Yeah, no kids. You okay. and the wife. Yeah, yeah. Because man, they they own the radio. I be <laughs> okay. So. Um, whenever it's just me and her, man, it's, it's old school. I'm an old hip, hip hop head. So definitely that, um, my wife, you know, she, she loved gospel music. So that actually helped us, you know, when we were going, you know, traveling through the Cascades and the Rockies and the, man, you be, you know, <laughs> you need God in those moments. So yeah, we definitely yeah. listen to gospel music. Um, we like, like chill, like the coffee shop type stuff, you know, mm-hmm. just, it's something about that with like scenery and stuff too. Like you just yeah, you know, it, it it further you know, enhances like, the moment. I think right, right. You see the ocean and mm-hmm. um, I like a lot of new school stuff too. I I listen to some ratchet stuff, some you know some uh, <laughs> <laughs> so so that mega stallion bars. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know we we mix it up. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, that's that's basically it. And then sometimes we actually we listen to a lot of podcasts and a lot of audio books too. Um, yeah. Yeah. Especially when you're doing three, four hour drives, you know, you can get through half a book or yeah. something like that, you know. So, That's so okay. smart, man. I like yeah. that. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm a podcast junkie myself. There's a lot of, there's a lot, there's a lot of our podcasts uh, that, that some of it, that I'm kind of like, I guess, online peers with that I listen to as well. Shout out to like the Rosies, the One Takes, the Barbies, and yeah. stuff like that. So, yeah, Wine Time. So, I, I, t- I totally feel you. So, that's really. Just to be fair, I mean, yeah, to your point, that's on my playlist as well. Some of like the more well, wild like said, time be boy, they be getting it, boy. Maybe wild. <laughs> yes, her, her podcast is, is even wilder. So I, oh. I so I like to show support with them and like listen to them on my free time. Um, but as far as music goes, I, I, I yeah, I'm, I'm definitely an old school um myself. Um, you know, I'm not you don't have the answer. I don't know how old you guys are, but you know, I know I'm I'm 37, I'll be 38 this year. So my old school will consist of like, you know, my old school sister, like your big puns, your fat right. Joes, of course, yeah. your, your two blocks. Yeah, big your pun big... is the shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. You know, I think I'm one of the few. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm one of the few who likes, I'm not a player of the original version, not the one with Joe, oh. like stuff like that, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But um, once again, man, I really appreciate you guys just taking the time out. Yeah, I know you guys are, you know, family men and, and husbands and stuff like that. You know, I'm I'm one as well. So, so yeah, I, I would just love that you guys took some time out of your day to just kick it with us. Um, uh, and once again, um, thorough. Before we sign off, man, let let the people know once again where they can find your stuff, bro. For sure, man. So you can find me on Instagram at thorough underscore Alexander. That's T H U R R O underscore Alexander. And on YouTube, which is an extension of my travels, you can search Thorough, T-H-U-R-R-O, Alexander, and I should pop up immediately. Right, right. And, and for those that, that didn't hear him as, as well, uh, 
Um, Marathon Market 79 uh, is, is, yeah. is the homeboys. Uh, you can also, um, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pl- plug your stuff, man. My, my bad. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. At, at Marathon Market 79. Mm-hmm. And then also, too, I got a, uh, me and my wife, we got a business called Dash Health. So you can go mm-hmm. at my Dash Health. We got, we got mental health support groups. So um, I sorry for the little plug, but, you know, we, oh, start, we got a men's group starting next week. No, this 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 is what it's about, man. We 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 love to plug stuff at the end of at the end of thing. So yeah, I mean to interrupt. Just one once again, you said that. Can you repeat that? The the health part again. Is, you said it's dash health. Yeah, at at my dash health. That's the Instagram. You can you can um, go to that and see what we're all about. Mm-hmm. And then you can also go to my. I'm sorry, my dash health dot com. You know, okay. that's our website. So. Right. And, and before I, and once again, I, I, I'm normally more prepared than this. I, I hope I didn't interrupt earlier, but you did say you're starting a men's group as well. Correct. Yeah. Next Monday, 6 p.m. Central. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is open to any man, whether you're single, married, uh, co-parenting, parenting, divorced, student. How do you get down with that? Yeah. yeah. And basically what we what it is, is um, it's an eight week course. Um basically helping men set visions for themselves. They stuck, um, they find, you know, they, they find it hard to advocate for themselves. So, you know, I, I teach you different, uh, you know, tools that you can use and all the content is stuff that me and my wife created. So, um, definitely check it out. That's what we do. That's okay. Our, uh, this, so. Okay. All right. Well, once again, I, I'm going to ask you about the offline cause I, so I can promote it just yeah. on my stories and stuff like that. So I'm going I'm to get with you offline so yeah, I can promote yeah. it. Yeah, no problem. For sure. So, so this is all Ryan. Once again, the homeboy Thorough, the homeboy Marcus. And we signing out. Peace. Peace. Mm.